Hello, YouTube. Da 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 da. New challenger. Mars Phoenix, where the hell did you come from? Well, you see, when a mommy and a daddy really love each other. Oh yeah, yeah, you're funny. So, anyways, this is the walkthrough of Super Mario Ocean. It's a ROM hack of Super Mario World. It is the only hack of Mario World on Vizboard that is not extremely easy or impossibly difficult. It's also the only one that contains no trans fats. No, actually it doesn't. All of them don't contain any trans fats. N no, no, I'm pretty sure they do. Oh yeah, you're funny. So yeah, that first profile is- I guess that that'll be a new catchphrase. I swear to god. You shouldn't, it's not nice. Alright, anyway... So that first profile, I've gotten almost all the way through the game. I have beaten it on that one, actually, I just didn't save. Oh yeah, it's in French, and um, if I remember correctly, this says Bowser captures Peach again, something, 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 Bowser takes her in the middle of the ocean, and Mario has to go find wait, her. Wait, wait, let me read it in French. Bowser capture Peach in the nouvelle forest, et alors que Mario le pourrait vous assez, il se sont retrouvés de baguette. I would go to Google Translate, but that's going to take too long, so we'll just play the game. You start off with this, and that, there's nothing there. So you then go to Humpback Island, which is what that thing translates to. There was a, for a, a long time, I could never get the hang of the controls on the SNES emulator, but after a while, yeah, I, I got used to it, now I'm actually pretty good at this. And so modest. What? Nothing. Oh, crap. Holy... Were those in the original game? Oh, yeah. In the original Super Mario World, oh, yeah. Oh, crap. I forgot about those. They weren't until, like, the late stages, but yeah, they were there. That's disturbing. Wait, how'd you get what? your super... How'd you get your super mushroom back? I hit the, uh... Checkpoint. I guess I wasn't paying point. attention. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that happens in, uh... New Super Mario Bros. Wii as well. Yeah. I guess that's where they got it from. New Super... Oh... The whole thing in New Super Mario Bros. Wii is just like a combination of pretty much every other Mario Bros. game. At least, at least the 2D ones. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I really like it. 19! Yeah. Yep. 19. Yeah. Minus, minus 18, and you get the way the age you act at, buddy. I act 18? No, minus 18. Oh, forget. Sorry, I, I didn't hear what you were saying. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I forget. Magnetic Ocean. No, it's, it's like Magnifique. It's an ocean, I forget what it says. Magnetique. Whatever. I don't know what that means. Magnetic. Oh, okay. In the original version, do they actually have, like, fish swimming around in the background like this, or...? Actually, that's the foreground, and yes, it does. If you notice, they do appear in front of Mario. Oh, they oh, also sir. appear in the background. Wait, where do they appear in the background? I don't see in the background. All I see in the background are the coral, are those coral reef things. Oh, well, whatever. Sorry, to me it looked like they were in the background. Yeah. Oh, that fish is dead. It's gonna be dead. There it goes. Where'd it go? Turned into a coin and I collected it. So basically, these are. These, these fireballs are magic that affect things in different ways. Some things yeah, die. Yeah, the, the, in Super Mario World, the, when you hit an enemy with the fireball, turn him into a coin. It did that in the original Super Mario. It did that in the original Super Mario World. So basically, it's really more. It's more so a magic fireball than just a fireball. Yeah, kind of. Because in Mario Bros. and Mario in Super Mario Bros. and Super Mario Bros. 3, they just killed the enemies. In fact, I think this was the only game where it did anything like other than kill them. I mean, it kills them obviously, but it also turns them into coins. I have nothing to say. Yep. I bet that makes you happy. Sure, why not? You seemed quite annoyed with me earlier. Blarg. That's my answer to that statement. Are there blargs in this game? Nope. Oh. Only in Mushroom Kingdom Fusion, and that game was canceled. Chess suck, because that game would have been awesome. Wait, well, I mean, like, what about the Super Mario Bros. or Super Mario World 1 blargs? 
that look nothing oh, like yeah. Are there any of those in this? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. Football dude! Charge and shock. Oh crap! That was close. He's charging his chuck. Yeah. Oh yeah, that matters. I'm right at the end. You missed a couple coins. Oh, I'm so sad. Ah, it's raining... It's raining oh. fish that can't hurt you because we're not underwater. Oh. I I could have gone around and just kicked them all and killed them, but I didn't. Dang. In fact, this game is actually really easy until you get to the fortress stage, and then the difficulty, like, triples, but it's still doable. Oh, wait, uh, Table Island, this actually is a trickier stage, because it's, because you, re you do want to keep, it's, you really want to keep the cape, and it's hard to lose, it's hard not to lose it. What was with the Goombas in Super Mario World? I don't know, actually. They look really I can weird. I remember when the, there's a keyhole somewhere in here, but I can never find it. I, I mean, literally spent like 10 minutes trying to find the damn keyhole, and I couldn't find it. I was going to take the normal way through. I mean, they look really weird. You know what they remind me of? They remind me of Super Mario Land Goombas. Super Mario Land Goombas. Yeah. They're like those tiny black... So were the... Like, the Koopa's head was bigger than its shell. Yeah, for no reason in Mario Land, the Koopas blew up, or the Koopa shells blew up when you stepped on them. It was the only Mario game where the Koopa shells did anything except uh, being able to be picked up and rolled around. Kicked around like that, and crap, I forgot he did that. Yo. Oh, shoot. I wonder why the shells respawn yet the enemies don't. Good question. There's one of those um P block things later, it's in the fortress stage that is really hard. Where you have to hit the P block and then you have to run back through this have like half the stage. Except the thing about that part in the fortress stage is that you have to jump over enemies and death pits. Like the entire time. Mm -hmm. Which was the first game where you could ground pound? Um, Mario 64, I believe. Really? I thought there was a 2D game. I don't know. Oh, shoot. This is a hard jump. So you have to, like, hit that Koopa exactly right, except do it without getting hit. If I die, I'm gonna be ticked. And then die. Yay. That sound effect's really annoying. Yep. Yeah, let's get out of here. Holy crap. Cannons. They're easy to avoid. Wait. I know, but you're quite high. I mean, oh, you gotta wait. imagine, if, if these come from the ground... What, the, the cannons? Yeah. If those are, like, connected to the ground and you're in the clouds, it's gonna high those must be. Yep. Alright, this is the first Shit. castle. This stage is really easy. That thing says, like, this castle is really weird, isn't it? Note that that thing moving actually does hurt you if you touch it. It's yeah. a really cool feature of this thing. Like, the stuff in the background moves as you go. It's way easier than it looks, though. I, I, like, the first time I did this stage, I did it without dying. It's really easy. Wow. This is really innovative. Yeah. Do you think this would have oh, been you, possible you, on this, on the original SNES? Maybe. But if, if you want to see, like, this is nothing compared to this, this you know, uh, Super Mario World hack called Nador. Wait, you want to know it's something? I mean... I love how Bowser must have, like, said that trap thing, oh, he's stupid, he'll go to get the mushroom, and then a thwomp will hit him. Yeah, actually, the first time I played this game, I actually did try to get the mushroom and get killed by the thwomp, then I realized, wait, why'd I do that? So it is a little bit disorienting, the moving background. Yeah, that's the only time it happens, because after that, it's just this... Wait, aren't the, aren't those from uh from Yoshi's Island? Those 
um, what, like the big yeah. zombie things? Um, yeah. They were, I don't know if they were in Yoshizan. This game came before Yoshizan, anyway. What oh, the... crap! This hack? 